Yo, Rob here, and today's topic is I was thinking about the comic book market and the action figure toy market uh, for this next year and into next year. Considering this virus, the lockdowns, the stores being closed all these months, I really think a couple of things are going to happen here. Number one is the comic book market. As bad as it was before the lockdowns and the shutdown stores and everything, even when comic books return, I don't think it's going to be equal to the pace that it was before the lockdown, which wasn't good to begin with. It's going to be a less market. I remember Todd McFarlane in a post on Facebook said something like, you have to open these stores because comic book buying is a habit and if people don't get their fix, don't get their used to this habit of buying every week, you might lose customers who never return. And I could totally agree with that because that's what happened to me in the early 2000s is when I stopped buying a few titles then the other titles, the few that kept me going every week, do, do I really need them? And as prices went up, less and less, you get rid of it until you get to the point that, you know what, I don't got to go to the comic book store every week. And you know what, I don't have to go to the comic book store every month either. And as people realize how much money they're saving every week, instead of going to the comic store, where it's like $4 an issue or more, this adds up. When you see uh, the fact that, oh, I haven't bought a comic book in a month or two, do I, do I really need to go back? You know, people will just walk away because they're going to realize how much they're saving and they don't need it really anymore. And then you add in the fact that on these comic book stores, right, a lot of them within the next few months or year are going to close because first, even though there's a lockdown, you have to pay your rent, you have to pay your bills, you're not going to get it for free. The stores have got to pay. So customers are not coming in, they are not getting new product to sell to them, and they're paying rent and other bills. You can only go so long. And even when the market returns, there's going to be less buyers, like I said. It's not going to probably sustain them. And within probably a year or so, even though the market is small, they are going to close more comic book stores. As far as action figures go, there really hasn't been a slowdown yet because it's very hard to slow down the comic the action figure market by comparison because it's already in the process. The wheels are in motion. But when you consider the, these big stores are either closed or they're only selling essentials or a lot of customers are not coming in because they don't want to chance it, that means a lot of people who would just browse the mall or go by to the store are not going into the stores weekly or on the weekends because either the stores close or they don't want to go because of the lockdowns and the fear. So they're not going to be able to go that week to buy action figures and to look around. And eventually these stores will either get stock that is not selling or that they will order less because there's a less buying public in that store. So I wouldn't be surprised next year sometime that there is less action figures produced maybe on certain industries that there will be less product available because there is not people at retail level really buying action figures at the moment. And again, I don't know how much of the toy market in which 
category or genre, how much of the toy market is online sales versus retail store level. You know, what is the ratio? I wouldn't know that. But I think that the toy industry will be affected because probably within a year there could be less product, you know. And again, also don't like forget the economy is down. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people are struggling. Because again, even though if you lost your job, you still got to pay rent. You still got to buy food. You still got bills to pay. And so their budget in terms of spending on hobbies and stuff is much less. And so I think that will be a reason for a downturn on some toys and comic book market as well is the economy. And I don't think it's just going to be recovered immediately this year. I think way into next year and beyond the economy is going to be down and not what it was. Again, you have to also speak in terms of economic sense. Look at sports arenas, stuff like that. You're not going to have 100% packed crowds for the next year plus probably. You'll be lucky if you get 50% of a crowd. And all those type of arenas are losing money on parking ticket. I mean, for cars to parking. They're losing money on merchandise sold like uh, shirts and stuff and food. They're losing all that economic stuff that affects stadiums and sporting events. So if this has affected all these other industries, you know, I just don't see how comic books and action figures will truly recover. It's gonna take a while to get to what it was previously. So I guess that's it. Just some random thoughts here about action figures, comic books. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you later.